Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing something really cool and kind of crazy. Rooting a Samsung phone without a PC. Yep, no laptops, no complicated commands, just two phones and a USB-C cable. I'll show you exactly how I use this awesome Android tool called Eros to root my Samsung S23. So grab your phones, follow along, and let's get started because this is the only way to root a Samsung without a computer. For this method, you will need two phones, one that you're rooting and another phone that will do the rooting. Before we begin, here's a quick but essential disclaimer. Rooting your phone will erase all your data, so be sure to back up everything you need before starting. Additionally, rooting will void your warranty and it will permanently disable Knox security features on your device. Proceed only if you're comfortable with these risks. For this example, I'm using the Samsung S23 running Android 14, but by the end of this video, you'll be able to root any Samsung device with ease. My device is running on latest update available, also the most recent security patch. First, we need to enable developer options on the device. To do this, tap several times on the build number until developer options are unlocked. You'll find this option in the device settings just below about phone. Now, toggle OEM unlocking. If this option doesn't appear on your device, it's likely because some US carriers remove the OEM unlock option. Check the video description for ways to enable it. After enabling OEM unlocking, also enable USB debugging. With both options enabled, we're ready to unlock the bootloader. Connect your phone to secondary phone using USB and boot the device into download mode. To do this, restart your phone by holding the volume down and power buttons. When the screen goes blank, quickly press both volume keys, which will take you into download mode. I don't know why Samsung dims brightness on this screen. Once in download mode, press and hold the volume up button to unlock the bootloader. A warning will appear, noting that unlocking the bootloader will void your warranty and erase all data. Confirm by pressing volume up again. After this, you may see some warnings while your device reboots this is normal. Bypass by pressing power button. Note that your phone will perform a factory reset during this process. Once the phone reboots, do not set it up just yet. Instead, reboot the device into download mode again, as we did before. Press volume button to enter in download mode. Here you'll see that the FRP lock status is off, meaning your bootloader is now unlocked. Now put your Samsung phone aside, we'll need a secondary phone to prepare everything. The first thing we need to do is download the official firmware for your Samsung phone. You can get this firmware from various sites, but make sure it has the correct baseband version. You can find your baseband version in phone settings. For this example, I'm using Sam FW to download the firmware. I've already downloaded the firmware on my phone. Here's the extracted files. If you're doing this, you'll receive the firmware as a single archive, so make sure to extract it first. Next, download the Magisk app. This is the app we'll use to patch the firmware for rooting. Don't worry, I'll link everything in the video description. After installing Magisk, open it up and click on the Install button. From there, select Patch a File, and then navigate to the firmware you just extracted. Choose the AP file, 
and Magic will begin patching it to root your phone. It'll take around 10 minutes, but once it's done, the patched AP file will be saved in your download folder. Here's what my file looks like. Now, you'll need another app called Z Archiver to extract the Magic's patched file. Locate your patched file and extract it. Once extracted, you'll see files like these. Now compress these extracted files into a .tar format. You might be wondering why we're doing this. The reason is that the Magic Patch uses a zip compression method, but our next tool doesn't support Magic's compressed files. So this step is necessary to make sure everything works smoothly. I'll now move this file to my working directory, ready for the next step. The next app we'll use is called Eros. Think of it like Odin. It's a powerful tool for flashing firmware onto Samsung phones. You can download and install Eros from the description below, and we're gonna use it to root the phone. Once installed, open Eros and click on the Add File button. Here, we'll add the firmware files one by one, but here's the key. Do not select the AP file. Instead, select the magic patched file we extracted and compressed earlier. Now, connect your Samsung phone to the secondary phone with a USB cable. To enter download mode, use the volume buttons on your phone, just like we did while unlocking. Here's an important tip. Check if your phone is charging when connected to the other phone. If it's not, it won't boot into download mode. If that's the case, try disconnecting both phones, then reconnect them. Once your Samsung phone is in download mode, Eros will detect it automatically. Allow access and click the Start button to begin the flashing process. As you can see, flashing is started. Try not to touch your phone while flashing. If Eros doesn't detect your phone, don't worry. Try rebooting your Samsung phone, changing the cable, or even using a different phone. I had this issue with my Poco phone, but when I switched to my Moto phone, it worked fine. Once the flashing process is complete, your phone will automatically reboot. If it boots into recovery mode, just use the volume buttons to format the device. After rebooting, you can go ahead and set up your phone. Once that's done, you'll see the Magix app placeholder. Tap on it and the app will download the latest version from the server. After that, open the Magic app and if it asks for any additional setup, click OK. Your phone will restart again. Once it restarts, open Magisk again and voila, your phone is successfully rooted without needing a PC. That's it, you've just rooted your Samsung phone using only another phone. I'll be making another video soon on how to root with Kernel Sue. It roots the phone at the kernel level, making it undetectable by apps such as banking applications. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and feel free to drop your questions or experiences in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.